Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. So today I'm going to show you something that um, means I've been working on MCP and it is related to MCP. But um, if you have not heard about it, it is uh, brilliant. So uh, what architecture that you're seeing over here is built by Google. So Google recently announced. Um, agent to agent protocol so it is very similar to uh, model context protocol and uh, this agent to agent protocol is being built by multiple uh, so like there are so many people who are working on agent to agent protocol and with that protocol google also published agent development kit now using with the help of google's agent development kit you can create your own agents and it's pretty easy and amazing to work with but today what i'm going to show is uh, is mcp toolbox for database this google just dropped it and uh, it was used earlier as well but uh, with a different name but gen ai toolbox for database but google dropped it updated it with mcp toolbox for database and uh, that actually, so the main benefit of this is um, like instead of creating one MCP for each server, you can have only one MCP toolbox and connect multiple servers to it. Now, you must be thinking, if you don't know about MCP, I have created multiple other videos and there are, you just, just write model context protocol and you will get all the information. But uh, um and it just to give you a brief brief model context protocol is basically a, a uniform way to connect to a standard way to connect a lm with a, a external database so instead of creating uh, specific connectors for each type of databases or apis we can have a, a one mcp server which can be connected to multiple which can be reused so a type of code which can be reused for connecting now now let me show you what it can do so the main idea of mcp toolbox is this that once you you can have only one agent which can connect to multiple because if you have a big um, company a company can have multiple databases right so you don't want to create so many simple simple data means connectors to connect all those things that's why google uh, like released this and l let me first show you how it will work so what i have done i have created my I've, i have one postgres um mysql database uh, a postgres sql database that is on my local which is running at 5232 and then one api with service now so yeah this can also connect to service now apis as well so i connected it with service now api now with the help of agent we are going to check and uh, like do the transaction in both the places together so for that what i have done i have uh, connected everything to the google cloud so if i'll go to google oh, sorry google cloud sorry cloud anthropic cloud and here all the tools that i have so you create hr cases from service now and uh, get employee salary is the google one and uh, uh, then these are get uh, um there are a few other simple sample ones uh so like hotels related but get snow hr cases from service now so let me just first simply ask a question can you uh, sh share the details of the salary of salary of um, following in the which words so i have to go and uh, get some users so that uh, first is this 
maybe this uh, maybe this one and so i have already created uh, uh, a salary table in my local database and um, so this one is not coming from um, from service now uh, we don't have that data in service now we only have it in my local uh, database so let's just run it and see okay So it is running get employee salary, get employee salary. When you are working with Claude, Claude is such a good model that uh, you don't ha have to worry about the agentic workflow. You know, uh, it pretty much works very well with the agent agentic workflow. And as you can see over here, uh, so it has provided me the details, and these details were present actually in my local uh, Postgres. Uh, database now the thing is now i want to connect to service now so what i'll do um i believe uh, abraham's salary is very less is there any HR payroll related case of him? Okay, so first we will see that um, uh, if it is going to, yes, I will allow. So as you can see, I have asked for Abraham Lincoln, but it understood that it has to provide the employee ID. And uh, uh, as you can see over here, let me check uh, any HR cases. So it connected with ServiceNow, uh, in ServiceNow, and it was able to, uh, it didn't find anything. So let's just, uh, hasn't filed any HR cases. Uh, yeah. Can you create, uh, discrepancy case discrepancy dispute case for Abraham hmm. so now Okay, so here, yeah, here, and it has created the case, and this is the HR case number, a uh, payroll dispute, and uh, it is the it is an open state, and created on today. So if I'll just go and check uh, in the HR cases, uh, HR payroll cases maybe. Right here so the sixth one which one was it yeah ninth sorry so this one was created uh payroll dispute salary request for <coughs> marketing department employee and it knew that uh, um, this guy is a marketing department employee so from the earlier request so if you'll just see over here that abraham was from marketing so it created this uh, so now you can see so this was just an example a, sim a simple example but um, how powerful a system can become if it can connect to multiple uh, tools uh, multiple databases and talk to it right and perform actions on it so you don't have to go and open and do stuff over there you just have to tell it and it will do it now to go little deeper in it what actually means how how it actually connects to all those things so what uh, google has done google has provided uh, so once you install it so this is the general architecture and they have a uh, docker image of all those things so pretty much 
uh, you can follow step by step. The main part that you have to configure is uh, the tools.yaml. So once you connect and your Docker starts running, uh, actually, before it will start running, you will have to connect to the uh, tools.yaml configure that file now i will show you that tools.yaml file so that uh, you can get an intuition that what is going on right and as you can see over here <clears throat> there are so there are multiple sources that you can connect to a tool.yaml for my case there were two sources one was uh, my postgres uh, sql database and as you can see, it has all this information. So this is database, uh, and this was the user, password, everything. And another is uh, the HTTP source. So if you are connecting an API, then you have to configure it using HTTP source. So my, my SQL server, my uh, service now MCP is running on actually another docker image oh, sorry on, a, on local host 1990 right so and that's why i've connected this as this now next the tools so if i'll show you so this get employee salary tool this is a postgres sql um what kind of a tool it is what is the source source was the pg source this is the description these are the parameters and what means when it will run so what it will do it will run this query okay and in this query needs one parameter and you have to define it over here so now you can get the intuition that from means if i have to add a new uh like uh, get instead of get employee salary i would like get em employees department i can just simply add this function so simply copy it and uh, say instead of employee salary uh, employee department employee department and uh, everything remains same um, you can get pretty much same thing and because you are i mean even the statement is same uh, because we are getting we are showing everything uh, means earlier i can just simply say that okay don't show uh, only show a salary and here I can say only show department So this way I have just connected so I just have to update this uh, tools.yaml file and It will add new tools immediately Okay, now suppose you want to connect a new database So if you want to connect a new database again, if, if you want to just connect a um, uh, HTTP server you can just connect uh, and on the same uh, like a tool to that uh, api then you can connect it using tools but if you want to connect a new data source then you have to add your data source over here with the parameters whatever parameter that you have given that uh, instead of my pg data source my uh, sql uh, source which can give so like mysql and uh, what wherever it is running all those things you can provide and uh, so and then you can just simply add your tools over here so uh, i will show you the service now tools that i added so for service now tools get snow um, means service now hr cases and uh, for that uh, i simply had to like uh, added one query that based on the user's employee ID or user ID, uh, whatever number of cases that I will get, uh, you just have to provide that parameter, that query parameter, and it will run it an API key, API query to get that information. Same for the create, I wanted few information, so I just needed like something dummy, right? So I just like, what is the name of the person, short description class name and it will just create the record so this is how you can simply with the very simplicity so instead of going and coding and all those things you just had to uh, you just had to provide this uh, 
information over here um, and th that's how it means like in the tools.yaml and once you have the tool tool.yaml completed in the docker if you are running your own doc docker then you can provide yeah so here here I, is my tools.yaml so whenever i will run this service again it will uh, take the updated one and uh, yeah that it will start running so this is how <clears throat> yeah this was my salary information that i added in my uh, postgres sql um so this this was the whole demo please let me know if you have any questions or if you are more interested uh, it is an amazing like website uh, mcb toolbox for database and it can run with any client so i didn't even have to connect it with uh, cloud if i wanted i can run it with langchain llama index or agents google agent uh, which also supports it so because it was not very visible like uh, Appe visually appealing that's why i created uh, i connected with cloud but you can connect it with anything you know so yeah that is all for today let me know if you have any questions